In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a program called GTK Orphan to remove orphan files on your Linux system. Now, if you don't know what an orphan file is, I'll provide a link below the video that would provide a description, show you the way to install it, and how to use the program. Now, GTK Orphan is a graphical user interface tool that allows you to find and remove orphan library files on your Linux system. And what an orphan file is, it's a file that's no longer uh, that serves a purpose. It's not linked to any application that's installed on your system or the application has been altered or moved so it's no longer used by any of the programs installed. And if you can look today I went through on my desktop system and I installed it and I showed the version on there and I'll show you in just a moment on this laptop. This was the desktop where I took the images. Now if to install this you just open up your terminal and just copy that line, paste it um, and put in your uh, after you press return you put in your password and press the Y key when it's asking you do you want to install and this is the line you put into your terminal if you want to remove it now to access it uh, if you're like me and using the traditional menu you go to system administration and click on orphan remove packages and that'll open it up but once you do click on that it'll bring up a, a dialog box allowing you to put in your password and you can choose to remember the password if you don't want to put the password every time I don't recommend that because if someone's using your computer like a child or something they can click and get straight into it and remove files now when you click on it the first time it opens up with two tabs one orphan package the other one non-orphan package these are the list of orphan files and I'll go ahead and click and show you uh, that you just click the checks and hit OK and then there's other features but let me open it up system administration and click on remove orphan packages you put in your password and as I said if you want if you're the only person using your computer you might not want to put your password every time so you can say remember password and it will log in as root user meaning that you can alter or delete files on your system. Now, as you can see here, I haven't run it in a while, so I have installed and uninstalled uh, programs here that's left behind library files. And if you look right here, LIBS, it's a library file. This is an old library file. It's, it's real old. That's a library file. So each of these in this list right here are library files. Now, here are the non-orphan packages. Here's the applications that's installed on my system. I don't want to move anything from the non-orphan packages. Uh, there should be a feature where you can disable that where you're not even clicking on that so you can't remove anything from that but here is the list of files so if I wanted to remove those I just randomly go through and choose each of these library files that I want to delete now once you do delete these files uh, you may have to do it several times it may not delete one uh, the first time that you go through but you select all files and if you look down here it found 15 files that are orphan files and it'll save me 4,397 kilobytes which is 4.3 or almost 4.4 megabytes of space save now if you're not really concerned about uh, the space saving these don't hurt anything by leaving them on your system so if you're watching this video don't think that I'm using this as a way of scaring you into removing the files if you're someone with an old computer that needs the space this is a way that you can clear off things that you no longer need by hitting OK it's going to prompt you are you sure you want to remove these and you can kind of scroll through to make sure that you understand uh, that you want to remove now, now let me before I hit yes let me show you something if I click on one of these I can go up to view and I can say package details so if you're not sure if you want to remove something highlight it by selecting it and choose this right here and it'll give you information about it it tells you when it was installed it okay and it gives you a brief description it tells you about it so if you know that you're using that program then you and you sure think well it might use it later or it's a file that you created or something in this case it's a library file so more likely you didn't create that the program itself did but this has other options as well if you click down here you can choose to show uninstalled packages with uh, orphaned configuration files and you click that and it'll add to this list or you say show all orphan packages not only those in the lib section this can be dangerous showing all the orphan packages because what an orphan package is look back at the definition the definition and that helps you understand it. Orphan file is no longer serves a purpose because the application created that file has been moved, altered, or uninstalled. It what this is programs and if you click on to the actual website itself, 
Look at this little note. It says, with this option, GTK Orphan will report Orphan as all those installed packages that are not dependent for any other. So it's thinking, well, if a file is not being dependent on by another program, it's an orphan. But look at this. In this way, for instance, packages such as Gparted. So if you go down here and you're choosing something other than the lib files, which are library files, programs like Gparted is uh, it doesn't depend on any other program to run. So if you say show all the orphan packages, programs like Gparted, programs like your Ubuntu desktop, Wine, uh, those will show up as packages that nothing depends on them. So if you remove them, you're going to be removing a program that you might want uh, to leave on your system. So that one right there is to use with caution. Now some of these right here can be used with caution as well, but these, these are library files. They're not as critical as your options here, and that's why they keep these hidden. So that's a little discrepancy or a little warning that you need to be aware of. And if this is the first time you're using it, you might want to use some sort of system backup or run time shift. So if, if something's not functioning properly, you can restore it back to the previous state. Then once you get used to using the program, you will know what you feel comfortable uninstalling. So let me go ahead and hit OK, hit Yes, and it's going to bring up and it's going to start removing these one at a time and since I have 15 of these it shouldn't take long to remove 15 files and after it finishes removing these it may leave a few behind that I have to run again because sometimes it doesn't remove them all for the first time so I hit OK if you look it did leave a few it left seven extra I can just simply run through here delete those and hit OK until you finish removing all of those so it's running through and it's removing the seven. Sometimes you might have to run it a third time. And if it's a very long list, if you haven't run it in a long time, you might even have to run it a fourth time. So let me run one more time. It says, are you sure? Hit yes. It's going through and removing and it's done. There's no uh, orphan packages found. So if you are someone that installs and uninstalls programs regularly, uh, sometimes when you did the uninstall it will leave behind library files or files that are no longer used by your system or the programs that are on your system that are just taking up space so if you're needing that space GTK, GTK Orphan is a great program to remove those now some people don't like using like uh, Bleachbit, Stacer or other programs very similar to those uh, but those programs will go into deep, uh, deeper scans. This just removes files that were created by applications that are no longer needed. Hopefully this video has helped you understand what GTK Orphan is and how to use the program. And have a great day.